I want to talk to uh, Syed uh, Hussein joins me now. Syed's with the Migrant Workers Association. Syed, thank you so much for giving me your time. This is, um, I know, a very difficult time, very shocking indeed. What is going through your mind as I know you and um, your team have been sounding the alarm bells on the concerns for migrants? We know in this particular area as well, aside from Roxham Road, the Aquasasne area has been a popular spot for migrants to cross over into the United States. They've seen an increase in, in that. But from what you've heard, what's unfolded over the last you know, few days here, a couple of days, what's going through your mind? I mean, it's <clears throat> it's devastating. Yeah. You know, we heard about first the missing, uh, the six bodies and then the missing infant. And I think we spent 24 hours waiting to get news about the infant and then finally finding uh, that the, the child had al also died. It's just heartbreaking. And it's a direct result. I mean, the question we need to ask is why are people fleeing Canada mm -hmm. to go to the United States? Why are migrants not able to just live here with justice and dignity and equality. Why do parents, how do parents take their children and put them on a boat to go to the US? That risk means that there's something really wrong happening in this country. Mm -hmm. And what that is, is that you simply can't get full equal rights if you don't have permanent resident status. And we knew since the expansion of the Safe Third Country Agreement, the deaths were coming. We had hoped that it would not be so soon. Mm -hmm. Uh, and more will continue to happen. And that is the shocking uh, reality that we are faced with, is that we are planning for funerals. Why is no one listening then? Why is this still an ongoing conversation when we've seen so many cases, and we saw some of it during the pandemic as well. You and I had several conversations about this. And now as you say something like this, which is shocking, but I'm gathering not surprising. I think your question is right. Why is no one listening? Prime Minister Trudeau in December 2021, when he, at the start of this current mandate, promised permanent resident status for migrant students and workers and undocumented people, because he knows that that is the only way to ensure equal rights. Mm -hmm. 15 months later, we have not seen an inclusive regularization program. We have not seen permanent residency uh, for migrants and people are being abused at work exploited by landlords, separated from their families, denied health care. And a few of them are making this dangerous journey uh, to the U.S. and are dying. Uh, two other people died crossing into the U.S. just in the last three months. Yeah. This family is just the latest uh, in uh, migrant tragedies that are being created by immigration laws, by the expansion of the Safe Third Country Agreement, uh, and Prime Minister Trudeau's abject failure to meet and keep his own promise. Mm -hmm. He promised permanent resident status so people could have equal rights and he still hasn't done it. 